Hello and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Now today we're going to be reviewing the 89 rated Bundesliga striker Sebastian Haller. If you do enjoy the video please like and subscribe to my channel and comment down below who you would like to see reviewed in the next video. Also make sure you go and check out my Instagram account, the link will be in the description below. Now let's get into the review. In the games I played with Haller I played him as a central striker in a 4-2-3-1 formation. You've just seen the he is right footed with 3 star skill moves and 2 star weak foot. He is 6 foot 3 tall with high medium work rate. This team of the season Haller card has some really good stats. He's got 87 sprint speed, 92 positioning, 90 finishing, 90 shot power, 92 volleys and 99 penalties with 97 vision and 93 short pass. His dribbling category however he's only got 75 agility and 60 balance but to make up for it he has 99 strength he has 87 stamina so he can last all game long his jumping's 96 and his heading accuracy is 91 and he's already six foot three so he's gonna win every single thing in the air as my point is now proven as he leaps like a salmon and wins the header but it does hit the crossbar but he picks it back up on the edge of the box and it's a green time finish shot into the bottom right corner great finish by Haller that's his 92 positioning coming into play right place right time and he can put it into the back of the net with that 92 finishing as well what a great goal by Haller that was we now go into the next clip and Gerard picks up the ball in midfield, passes it to Haller. Haller uses his strength to win the ball back to his player and then bang. What a finish this is. Wait till you see this shot and the way he hit it with his foot. It was so weird, but there was so much power on his shot. And that is with every single shot he has, he puts power on it. He absolutely smashes that ball. You've just seen there, it was basically a side-footed thunderbolt into that right-hand corner. What a weird shot, but he's here again, right place, at the right time, picks up the ball on his two-star weak foot and manages to put it in the back of the net. Honestly, this guy is the ultimate poacher on this game. He's always in the right position to just put it in the back of the net, and that's what he did. In the three games I played with him, he scored nine goals. That's an incredible return, and he only costs 70k, and he's in a high league in a good nation. He is a real good bargain on this game. Yeah, he doesn't have four star skills, he doesn't have four star weak foot, but he just seems to put the ball in the back of the net nine times out of ten. As you see, he goes here, you can see him running, peeling off the last man. Gerard plays a lovely through ball to him, he goes one on one with the keeper and he blasts it into the back of the net. And that's all he does lads, he absolutely blasts that ball every single shot he has. He has an absolute rocket of a shot on him and he's going to put the ball into the back of the net every single time. As you see him here, leap up again off a corner and put it into the back of the net with his head. He is an absolute target man, he is a poacher, he is absolutely brilliant in front of goal. I can't rate him highly enough and his finishing is absolutely incredible. But don't get me wrong, Haller has his cons. His dribbling is very sluggish and he does turn like a double decker bus at times. Also, his three star skills and two star weak foot is a major, major disadvantage. You can be in that box on that two star weak foot and it's not even gonna go anywhere near the goal. It is absolutely rubbish. And the three star skills mean he can do the bare minimum of skills on this game. So as we get into the overall rating, I'd give Haller an eight out of 10. His value for coins, is an 8 out of 10 also and his enjoyment rating of a 7 out of 10. He's got in his pros strength, finishing, positioning, height and heading. His conzo is his agility and balance. His dribbling feels a bit clunky and the curve, the curve is quite low. Also I forgot to put in there his 2 star weak foot which is absolutely terrible. It is a disappointment on this card but anything on his right foot is going in the back of the net with that 92 finishing. He is the ultimate poacher. Honestly, every single time he was in the right place at the right time, that 92 positioning and high medium work rate means he's going to stay on that last man in the box 
and he's going to win you those little goals. You've seen in the clips, he does get a few little tappings for me and he manages to get the goals. And he, there was a couple of games that I actually played with him and the files corrupted and I couldn't put the gameplay in. In three games, he scored nine goals. That's an absolute re incredible return. That was on Division Rivals as well, in Division 3. So he can do you the business in front of goal. He really, really can. Also, his heading is absolutely spectacular. 96 jumping on a 6 foot 3 player is incredible with 99 strength as well. He's putting the ball in the back of the net every single time. Off a corner, if you get it on his head, it's going in. He is absolutely crazy at heading. He's a brilliant target man on this game. And to be honest, he's actually been the best Bundesliga striker I've used. And I say that lightly because I never really play with Bundesliga strikers. I have had Lewandowski and I didn't rate him at all. But Haller, nine goals in three games. What can I say? That's just an amazing return. Is he worth the coins? I'd say yeah, he is. Especially if you've got a Bundesliga team and you're looking for a big target man, a poacher, you can whip the ball into and he's going to win you those headers Haller is your man and for 69k it's quite a reasonable price for him at the moment so I would go and pick him up he might even go down even more when Bundesliga team of the season comes out because he might get on the bench I don't know but he might become a bit cheaper so maybe wait and see but he is a really really good card so if you have enjoyed this Haller Team of the Season review, leave a like and subscribe for more Team of the Season reviews coming very, very soon. And go and check out my other player reviews. I've done Tammy Abraham and I've done a Bergwin Team of the Season player review. So go and check those out. It will be greatly appreciated. Also, make sure you go and check out my Instagram account. The link is down in the description below. And thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.